Hello, and welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad. My name is Karen Breyer, and today we are going to make tzatziki. It's a Greek yogurt cucumber dip. It's a very traditional dip, and it's delicious. It's pretty easy, too. So the ingredients in this recipe are plain Greek yogurt, seeded and peeled and diced cucumber, minced garlic, lemon zest, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and fresh chopped dill. Okay, so before we begin, I, you can see I already chopped up my cucumber, but not everybody knows how to peel, seed, and dice a cucumber, so I'm just gonna show you real quick, especially the seeding part. When I, probably most of you know how to peel it. I need to peel it to show you how to seed it. So we're just gonna go ahead and peel with a vegetable peeler. Okay, so I'll just get rid of my peels. There's different techniques on seeding a cucumber. I find it easier if I have sh shorter pieces, so. And then cut it lengthwise like that. And then what I like to do is Go ahead, some people just go ahead and scrape the seeds out and I had a little trouble with that so I like to go ahead and kind of loosen, loosen them up first. Just kind of scrape the spoon down the sides before I scrape. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and peel. You can go back and get some that you missed. Okay, so I got all the seeds out. That was pretty easy. I'll just go ahead and do this side. Press. I might try a smaller spoon too. Okay, so I got the seeds out of both. And then, well, you probably already know how to chop. We're just gonna kind of chop it up into pieces. And you need one cup. Okay, so that's how you peel seed and dice a cucumber. So I'll set this aside and then we'll move to the next step. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our ingredients. We have eight ounces of Greek yogurt. We're just gonna add it to a blender or a food processor. Okay, so the next thing we need is our cucumber. We have one cup peeled, seeded, and diced cucumber. The next ingredient is one teaspoon of minced garlic, and you can mince your own or you can use a already minced garlic. One teaspoon. Then we are going to need one teaspoon of lemon zest. I'm gonna go ahead and use our zester. We could actually do it over this bowl. And there's different kinds of zesters. This is a really easy one. Just zest the yellow part of the lemon. You wanna try not to get too much of the white part because the white part is bitter. Okay, we have way more than one teaspoon. It smells so good. This is actually lemon from our lemon tree. We're lucky we have a lemon tree. So you could actually add more or less. Make a little heaping. Okay. The next thing is we're gonna need one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. And I'll show you the way I like to squeeze a lemon. If, unless you have a handy lemon juicer, that's easier. But if you don't, I go ahead and roll it before I cut it. Kind of lets the juices out. Cut it in half. Then I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze it over a bowl. You can squeeze as much as you can get and then when you get a lot to get some more, you can just kind of poke into the lemon and it will help you get some more juice out. Okay. 
Okay, well, we have way more than way more than one tablespoon. We'll avoid those seeds. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna add is our salt, pepper, and dill. So we need a quarter teaspoon of salt. And kosher is my favorite. I think it has a great flavor. I recommend that, but you can use any salt. So a quarter teaspoon, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. So we're gonna add a little bit of pepper, and we can add more at the end after we taste it if we would like. Okay, so we're not gonna add the dill quite yet. We want to blend it up a little bit before we add the dill because we don't want the dill to get totally blended and turn the whole thing green. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my blender and we will blend it next. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and blend it on low till it's well combined, but we want it a little chunky still. We don't want it smooth. We want it to have some texture. So you can also be using a food processor for this, but I have a blender. Go ahead, I'm gonna do it on low. Just turn it up a little. Scrape down the sides. And then before I add the dill, I'm gonna actually taste it a little and see how the seasonings are. Perfect. Very delicious. Okay. So here's what regular dill looks like. And then we're gonna go ahead, I diced it up. I took all the stems off and diced it small. And we're gonna go ahead and grab one teaspoon. And we're just barely gonna mix it. And it looks perfect. The dill is blended through. So you see how it's kind of chunky with some texture still, that's what you want. You don't want it completely smooth, but you can make it how you like it. Okay, here you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge and we're gonna chill it for about an hour and then come back and try it. Okay, see you in an hour. Okay, so our tzatziki sauce has been chilling for a while and I put it into another dish so you could see it better. It looks perfect. It has a beautiful chunky texture and I am ready to try it. So this is a good dip. Um, it's also great on falafel. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on a cucumber. Mm. It's so good, super healthy. Very fresh. This would be perfect as a vegetable dip. I especially love it on falafel. You can check out my lesson on baked falafel. I just made these today. They're fresh, they're ready to eat. So I'm just gonna add some to the top of this. The baked falafels are also very healthy. So the combination, this would be a great lunch, great dinner. You can keep this in the fridge to have on hand. Okay, so try it this week. Let me know how it turns out. Go to cookinglessonsfordad.com. Send me a message. Okay, I gotta try this. It looks so good. Hmm. You're gonna love it. You gotta try both recipes. They're perfect together. Okay, bye.